dobry, witam wszystkich serdecznie po raz kolejny na stoisku Wiozo. Dziś jesteśmy w Barcelonie. Wiozo, fantastyczny system do automatycznej kalibracji obrazu, do mappingu, do symulacji, no wielu, wielu zastosowań. Naprawdę warto się z tym zapoznać jak najszybciej, jeżeli jeszcze tego nie znacie. Dziś Wiozo pokazało najnowszy player, to jest X-Play, który dodatkowo posiada jeszcze ścieżki czasu. To, co to potrafi, wydaje mi się, że na rynku no będzie chyba numerem jeden na tą chwilę, czyli automatyczna kalibracja, ścieżki czasu, wybór kontentów, możliwość wyzwalania zdalnego, no wszystko co tylko pragniecie, wszystko w tym znajdziecie. Ale więcej o tym oczywiście, ponieważ to nowe, ja nie wiem jeszcze wszystkiego, oddam mikrofon. Benjaminovi. Hello, um, thank you very much for the nice introduction. It's good to see my Polish friend back on the ISE show floor. And welcome to everybody. Uh, yes, I'm proud to be back at ISE. And I think, as Vladek already mentioned, we have a wonderful product to talk about. This is XI Play 2. XI Play is media player. And you would ask, why do we develop another media server or new media server? There are great media servers on this market. There's Disguise, there's Big Sarah, complex stuff, wonderful stage precision tracking. But honestly, a lot of people come back to us and say, Ben, we need simpler, maybe less bit inexpensive playback solution. No complicated 3D mapping, no stage precision, no whatever tracking. This, I love to use other media server for you, know, like Pixera. But this player is for most of immersive room applications, for most small school board applications, for small shows, just perfect. It runs completely web-based, so you have a machine where you install the software and then you interface it with a web browser. You enter VIP and it will give you an intuitive interface where you can upload media to one PC from an external device from a long distance. You can place them on a timeline, you can place them on a cube list, you can play this cube list is independent. So let's say typically immersive room, one wall, two wall, three walls. You play like three different contents in sync on this wall and maybe on for some parts you add another picture and picture logo in the middle. That's what it offers. It runs very stable. It runs extremely high performance hub content. From such a small any station nano, we run 8K. That's amazing how Emmanuel did it, to spoil my colleague. But the most important thing is also it runs independently. So you have timelines running in sync or without sync. It's a versatile Swiss knife army tool for any playback solution where you don't need the open boarding complexity of awesome media servers, where you just can stick to what most projects are about. Good video playback and a little bit show control because of course everything in the web-based GUI can be controlled from externally and there can also be commands sent to the outside. So that's what we want to show. We want to give a market uh, really to use media player software. It's not competing with a complex media server, but gives back the feeling for, wow, this is just going to work. Of course, this contains our Viosa auto calibration as an option, so you can use all this amazing calibration technology. And I'm looking very forward to put this also to your market. And you know where to find the right guys to talk to. We will provide some demo versions and some trainings. Thank you very much. This year at the ISE, we have two very new um, yeah, exposures to make. So first, people might know it a little bit. We have started to enter the play big market. For people who do not know us, Viosa is known for auto calibration of projectors. That means multiple projectors combined into large immersive spaces and images. But the playback is always an issue. You have to integrate with media servers or with real-time engines and that is often a big technological obstacle. The calibration itself, as you know from Vioso, is very, very straightforward and simple. Curved screen, webcam, arbitrary projectors and always a perfect result. And what you see here is a massive machine featuring an incredible i5 processor, 8 GB RAMs and a monitor graphics card that runs easily three times UHD plus notch LC. So as always it's not the hardware but the software that does the difference. Speaking of software, a totally new range of calibration tools has been added to Vioso once we acquired the company on projection. This is the projection tool set now heavily under review by a lot of interested people, that is the top-notch calibration. We have everything there that you ever wanted to have. Multi-camera, auto-calibrated by markers, 3D mapping in perfection, and we use that very widely on this trade show. A projector calibration can be very straightforward. In this case, we have two projectors, a curved screen and a webcam doing the job. So setting this up, simply selecting projectors, type of screen and the camera and the first step is to have a view through the camera on the projection itself so here you can see that's the screen 
that's the region of interest and that's all you need to do as an operator apart from adjusting lens and focus. Per projector a set of test patterns is provided and these test patterns are projected and captured by the camera. With these test patterns we get all the information about the screen surface, position of the camera and of course how the projectors on the surface. After you're done, as you can see, blend is calculated automatically in highest quality. You export to whatever the target is. That can be any of the supported media servers, starting with Pixera, Watchout, Seven Sense, basically every um, MPCDI-based media server, but also through the engines like Unity, Unreal, and you name it. This export is pretty complex, as all these tools I mentioned are all different. So it's in our software to have them all pre-configured, pre-installed, so usually it's not the job of the operator to take care of that. And with a single button, this can be recalibrated, because in the end, it's not about going through all these steps manually, but keep a camera installed, and with a click of a button, you can realign a projection in nearly no time. That's the story of Yosa, that's the demonstration here, and of course, we do a lot with other partners here, more or less in the same way, but on different surfaces.